Hello and welcome, I am Arumba, thank you for joining me, let's play some more EU4 as Norway. So, we have just won another trade war with Muscovy. We could now consider attacking Poland. I'd like to blow up their, their navy. And then at the same time, I think we can easily take on their army. 82,000 troops. We don't have our good friend Rickard, but we do have Axel, who's also pretty good. Um, they're allied with France, though, so if we attack Poland, then France will probably defend them. So I think Poland is not really someone we're going to attack. We could become Defender of the Faith, which gives us more prestige, increases tech costs, we gain more Papal influence. Instead of doing that, though, I think what we're going to do is I do want to, I really want to become the Curia Controller. And I think the way we're going to do that is we're going to... Build, not temples. But we're going to build some courthouses. We're going to spend admin points to increase this papal influence thing. Because I've not done that before and we're ahead of time on military, on uh, admin tech. I don't really want to do the religious ideas yet, and uh, seems reasonable to me. I mean, it reduces revolt risk, that's good. And the yearly papal influence, I guess if we math it out, you build 20 of these things, then you have yearly papal influence plus one, <laughs> which lets you have a total of five more cap. Papal state opinion of us plus 0.5. We just need them to like us. If we want to become the Curia controller, that's what we have to do. I'm going to stop improving relations with Hamburg and improve relations with him instead, because I don't think we're going to get Hamburg to 190. No, that's not true. What am I talking about? Hamburg, we can easily get to 190. But we're now trading in fur. That's good. All right, fine. We're gonna, we are going to improve relations with the Papal State, though. And I guess the other diplomat, when he gets back, will resend him. I mean, compare it. Like, one improved relation. I mean, he's been there for one week. He's improved relations by plus three. That gives us an extra 0. 0.5, sorry, 0. 0.6 Papal influence per month. Or per, per year, whatever. So that's equivalent to a courthouse. It doesn't seem worthwhile to build courthouses. as I take it back. Overextension sucks. Our religious unity is solid. Prestige is solid. Being at peace is good. Yeah, I think we need to um, build more trade ships. Maybe even get some trade, more trade power in Lubick. We already have trade power in Lubick. What am I talking about? We already have 87%. Why do we need more? Well, we need more because that's where we make our money. The only people that actually have anything is Hamburg, and they're our vassal. Everyone else just has little piddly merchants here. We've got you embargoed minus 60%. Wow. Friesland. Has ships. Okay. All of the money's going that way. The North Sea. Maybe if we improved our power here, we could get some of that money to come towards us. I think we can make a few more frigates. They're so inexpensive. And they provide so much trade power. It's 13. We have room for 15 more. What else do we want to build? I 
I definitely want these things. In fact, I want to build these things here. Because England is going to continue to fight us, and having more fort strength here would be nice. Maybe even these ones behind it as well. As I was looking at it, Torson died. France took my guy. Was Torson the guy that I had like 400 points in? Must have been. Naturally, I, I was predicting that for months. Years even. That is one hell of a long walk. Poland, give me military access. Quit being such a jerk. Just because you hate me. Doesn't mean we can't be friends. Alright, we're going to hang out, I think, until we can attack Sweden again. France, I swear. You're such a bastard, France. France must be really cozy with the papacy or something. And they're our ally. But... Not behaving like an ally. Constantly stealing my guy. The Netherlands declare independence after years of subjugation and alleged injustices forced upon on them by what is perceived as foreign rule. Our provinces in the Low Countries have signed an act of adjuration, renouncing their oath to Castile and declaring independence. So the Netherlands has declared independence on Castile. It's a Dutch Republic. And they have one province. With a lot of ships. They're currently at war with Castile. They're at war with everyone. It's like a faction war in CK2. Yeah, they're going to lose. We're not allowed to support independence. We can't guarantee, like, pro proclaim a guarantee and, like, get called in. We can't offer to join. Can't really get involved in it in any way. Whatever, it'll be a short-lived independence war. Once we get church attendance duty, I might consider keeping our stability higher. That's a lot of damn rebellions. Our nationalism. As far as accepted culture goes, I think we should also consider converting Scotland. Especially the little cheap ones. Because Scotland's never going to become accepted. Not again. Norwegian and finish. Let's just get rid of all of our problems. Hey, there's the new trade fleet. Cool. France, you're so obnoxious. Alright, so these 15, we're going to have protect trade in the White Sea. No, North Sea. We're going to see how that impacts things. Pulls an extra 0.6 ducats this way. That probably makes us some more money, right? Extra one. Probably worthwhile. What else do we want to build? These being coastal, I feel like I really shouldn't. Like, I, I wanted to build the arsenal in Akershus, 
just because it's got the march. But I feel like the coastal stuff should be reserved for arsenals. And naval force limits plus four. So good. I've never even built a dock, for crying out loud. Let's start building stuff in these things, like Agder. I don't know why, but every time I go to that side of the map, the New World, is when I get like lag like that on the interface. Something to do with the game itself. It's never over here. England is like, Europe is always fine. But you go to the New World, it starts to lag. And like these menus open slowly and close slowly. It's just very strange. New ideas. We could pick up that thing. I don't want it. Yearly Papal Influence plus five. Wow. Now, plus five, <laughs> that's pretty good. No, though. I just want to focus on getting getting this done. We'll stockpile our money for a bit. Try to get more naval force limit by building up those things. Somebody's been taking care of the rebellions. I don't know who it was, but that's good. Annexation, 26%. You are at 130 we can get another 60, it's just going to take time. And our other spare diplomat, I think we'll send him back to connect. You're going to be a bit trickier to convince. In fact, I don't even know if it's possible. You're a heretic religion, so we could just break the religion and force vassalize you. Yeah, we're going to dis just dissolve the alliance, and then... That was a mistake to even do that. I should have just attacked them outright in the first place. It's be a lot quicker. France! Swear to God. France must have a lot of those damn courthouses or something. I don't know why they have so much damn papal influence. Like, okay, clear papal influence... Papacy. The Papal State. 115 opinion. Okay. Might explain why they have so much more Papal influence than we do. Wow. Mass draft with financial incentive. Orkney. So Orkney is an accepted culture right now. It's got a base main power of 25. So I'm guessing that this is a plus one manpower unit and this is plus two. So we can take it from 25 to 50 or 25 to 75. 75 please. Cool. I like it. France! I swear you suck! One of those things that just, it's infuriating to have to constantly manage that. Alright. So we bring our guys around, we get in position to attack again. Till May of next year. Let's go speed 5 until May.
I will break my alliance with them. If they keep this up. The nation of France, your faithful ally, is requesting that you come to their aid in the French conquest of Nice against Austria, Hungary, and Bavaria will protect them. Interesting. So France is at war with all of that. And it's said Bavaria will join, but they're not in it yet. Mm. I don't know. They trust us to uphold our bargains. I'm tempted to backstab them. I think they'll win without me, but... Losing 25 prestige is the big deal. And uh, France is pissing me off. We don't really need their help to beat Poland anymore, but... Mm, I've got my own war to declare soon. None of these people have anything that I want. I, I'm going to decline. We'll get our prestige back from declaring war on Sweden. France is going to hate us. They're apparently at negative 151 now. They're still friendly for the moment. We're no longer allies. We have the royal marriage. If we ever do get control of that damn Curia, then uh, we'll be able to break off the royal marriage with both France and Pskov, which is also costing a relationship slot. Now that we've severed ties with France, maybe it would make sense to declare war on Poland. They're still allied with France. Oh, you know what I should have done? Damn it! Hindsight's twenty twenty. I should have accepted the call and then declared war on Poland. That way France couldn't have protected them. Oh well. It's okay. We're, we'll figure out another way. In the meantime, um, things are coming along pretty well. I'm going to take a break here. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.